Hi Sagittarius, welcome to SoFQuest. I'm Spence. Welcome back if you're a subscriber. Welcome in if you're new. So this is a week of Virgo, starting Virgo season, the first week of Virgo. And we just ended Leo season with that very important second full moon in Aquarius on the 22nd, just Sunday. So you're still feeling that, I'm sure, and we went through some pretty radical shifts, whether internal, external in your life. That that's Uranus is pretty much radical change, one way or another. Something shifted, or is right now shifting in your life because of those full moons, I would think. All right, so here we are this week. Going to take it easy a little bit with the astrology. I'll just let you know that Venus is in Libra. That's a good thing. That feels good. Yes, it does. Got an air trine that I like. And an earth trine that's helping us to feel more earthy. It is definitely pushing us forward. And Virgo season is about taking time to do it little by little, right? It's feeding the dog, you know, making sure the kids get a bath at night. It's doing the list. It's going over your budget. It's taking care of the details. That's what it is. All right, so let's pull you an Enchanted Map Oracle card by Colette Barry and nine of the Tarot of Mystical Moments by Catrice Wellstein. Katrine? Katrine Wellstein. So I need the card for Sag. There it is. Fell out. Commitment, Sagittarius. Nice. Is that a word you feel comfortable with? Sagittarius. Now, I'm not making any judgment calls. I know all the signs, they have their key words that people remember. This is not normally a word that people think of as Sag, and yet I've known Sagittarians, many, many, that are very committed people, so I'm just uh, joking really about that. But we're going to read that commitment card in just a second. First, however, settle in with me. Let's take some deep cleansing breaths because it feels really good. <laughs> Brings down the cortisol. Helps us relax our spine and our shoulders. Helps us to feel more grounded. Brings up serotonin and dopamine. Lowers the cortisol, the stress hormone. Feels good, right? All right, this feels well shuffled, I think. I have shuffled plenty before turning on the camera as well. Let's lay your nine cards and we'll read commitment. Then I'm gonna read the nine horizontally, vertically, and big picture, all right? That's the way we do. Seven of Pentacles, I am going to show you these, of course, one by one. Seven of Pentacles, Page of Cups, and Hermit. I think maybe somebody wants to talk to you if they haven't been, if you've been feeling a little solitary, or if someone, or if you're missing someone, it's like, you think maybe you want to spend a little bit of time If, especially if it's been a relationship where it's like you haven't really been able to get together because of COVID or getting together has always, it's it's been for a purpose without really been being able to just chill. Like maybe you just want to chillax with each other, you know, something like that. Because this is someone who's important to your life. Well, okay, let's see what else. Yeah, someone very important to your life. And you are committed to this person. You know that they belong in your life. Like, that's that's what I'm seeing. That exact sentence. This person belongs in your life. And you know it. And now it's about how do they belong in your life. Because, yeah, you know, just recently you guys may have had maybe a battle of wills over something. Or you just, again, like I said, haven't been able to actually get together enough. Or if you have, it's all been for, you know, strategizing. If like if you're work buddies, right? What you know, just getting together to take care of business, but really you want to be friends, you want to hang out and just have a good time. Yeah. And let the I wanna say let the business part of it just take care of itself. That's what I heard. Okay. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, Knight of Pentacles, yeah. Because this is somebody you trust, it's somebody you can count on, they count on you. Ace of Cups, and you know, they really are a blessing in your life. And there's the commitment, King of Pentacles. 
you want this person in your life forever, I think, right? Now you could be wanting to level up the relationship and it could be with a an earth sign. This could just represent Virgo season. Virgo is an earth season, but we see the Knight of Pentacles adding a little love into the mix and then moving into the King of Pentacles. So this is an advancement in your commitment in this relationship and love, right? Okay, you can see that? All right, so that's what I'm seeing. I also see that it could be possibly that you work together that's a potential. Let's go across the top. Seven of Pentacles. You have worked hard on the relationship one way or another. Whether it's working on the relationship or the fact that you just work together. You two know how to work together somehow. That's what I'm saying. All right. And then with the Page of Cups, it's like a little more love is, not, is on the table here, right? A little kindness, a little sweetness, a little fun. Because somebody's just been like almost unreachable or just really inside themselves and depending on their sign what kind of energy they are if they're earth energy you're a fire energy right totally different kinds of energy so here's this could just represent Virgo season the hermit card so maybe you need some time alone or you've needed to for whatever reason be alone and somebody is thinking oh but I just want to spend time with you right? It's been a long time and I've been patient, waiting and waiting. Somebody's been waiting on someone for a little more show of love. You know, a cup of kindness. Then we have the Page of Pentacles because they enjoy it. They enjoy being with you. They enjoy spending time with you. They believe in you. Like you are, you're like really important to this person. The star is the center of your reading today. And this is absolute faith in someone or hope that something is really going to stand the test of time. And I think that you guys can work out your issues when there are issues. I think issues come up like anybody else in any other relationship in the entire world or the history of history. There are obviously going to be complications that come up and things that you have to work out, right? specific things you got to do, strategies, moves you each have to make in your own lives for whatever reason. And I think that you actually deal with it well. I really truly do. I don't think that you're petty with each other. I don't think that you compete with each other. I think you actually really have faith in each other and that you're helpful to each other. That's what I'm seeing. Like you actually encourage each other to grow and to figure out their your own stuff like you have enough respect for the person that you can step back and let them figure out their own stuff and you're patiently waiting for them to do so or they're waiting for you to do that and then you can be peas and carrots peanut butter and jelly again so I'm not reading the commitment card yet I'm gonna get there I, I usually read it first but first I was just led to her to get through and go move through this because it was it was talking to me so much. So, King of Pentacles. In this deck, there is a yin and a yang version of each of the court cards of the kings. So, in other words, women can also level up to the suit of king in every suit because it really is just the mastery of it as well as the males. So, whether you're male or female, this is the yin energy of the king mastering emotions feelings and the responsibility that you take on when you commit to someone committing to someone because you care right not because you're committing to them because you want to see longevity necessarily and that's your only goal you're also committing to this person because you care like you like them, you feel it in your heart, they make you go, aww, they make you laugh. It's that, it's just that sweeter thing. They make you happy, the person, and that's the commitment. So next to her, the, the King of Pentacles, we have the Four of Wands. So this is gorgeous, right? Four of Wands, this is like, together you can build something. 
you are you are building something together, either friendship or love or a company, a business. Could be anything at all. And it's coming back to you, you know. What you've put out in the world is coming back with the three of wands. Your ships will come in, right? It's that. Committed to each other. This could be a home-based business and perhaps you're in business together. You believe in this person. They have something that they're working out or you do. And whomever it is, the other person is allowing it to take the time it needs to gestate because no matter what you really do believe in each other with the star card in the center no doubt and you're committed to each other day after day if this is a work relationship it could seriously turn into love someone may be feeling that okay someone may very much be feeling that so if you notice on the bottom of the deck I'm seeing the Knight of Pentacles growing in love with that Ace to the King of Pentacles, the Yang version of the King of Pentacles. And then on the bottom row here, I'm seeing the female version of the King of Pentacles. You are both mastered the way you are working in the relationship and the way you're working in the world. You work well together, building this life and building this relationship. You're like a power couple. And even if you're not like male, female, married, or male, male, female, female, and you're just like just best friends, or you know, you you do you have a business with your brother or your sister or your, co your cousin, you two are a great team. And I think all the whomever is in this situation right now, probably right now in Virgo season, needing some time alone to take care of whatever it is that they need to take care of with the five of wands. Um, the other person is patient and will be fine. They're fine. They're waiting. They know that you guys are in it for the long haul. So, Sag, it looks good. Really good. Okay, commitment, 36. 36. Let me get there. Okay. A true commitment is a responsibility of the heart, mind, body, and soul. This is a good time to make one. Partnerships formed at this time are harmonious and powerful. The commitment card also indicates the natural evolution of a relationship from its inception to a literal, literal or metaphorical marriage. At the very least, there is a promise of fulfillment in some form. However, you must be conscious of what you're committed to. Be clear about the nature of your commitment and your responsibility to it. Others are more willing to enter into partnerships at this time. Remember that your partnership with spirit and the highest version of your own self will engage the highest self in another. So when you're whole and you're with someone else who's whole, then you have the highest form of relationship that's interdependence and it is healthy right and it grows well which is what I'm seeing all right so you may be walking into a commitment or a contract okay I see the only the positive here I think you are really looking at it you want it to grow you're willing to do the work and you're in it all day long every day like you're in it you care Right? You believe in this person, they believe in you, you're doing this together, building some type of life or business or work together, getting along really well. Then with Hermit, there you know, you need somebody, you or they, need some time alone to work on issues, problems, the folder all, the, the knit net stuff in life right now in Virgo season, which is the perfect time to do it. Um, but don't you worry, everything's going to take care of itself. That's what I keep hearing with the Three of Wands. It, it's taking care of itself. Okay, bottom of the deck. You're good to go. Good things are coming. You can trust this person. They're in it for, to win it as well. You're both showing up together as equals. And it looks really, really beautiful. So, um, I don't think this word scares you at all. And if it did in the past... Congratulations. That's what I want to say, Sag, because you've leveled up in that way. Having faith and trust is the true the way, truly, 
to not only love and having love with someone, it is truly the way to owning one, one's own self-awareness that they're worthy of love. If we all walked around with this knowledge inside of us at all times, we would love everyone every single day because we know that that's how to be the best of ourselves. That's the star card, having hope, having faith, having trust. And I think you have that with this person. So good for you. <laughs> All right, Sag, I am here for you every week. I'll be here for you next week. I hope you come back. Thanks so much. Please give me a like, share, and subscribe. Oh, and by the way, big words, kindness, reverence, gratitude. That's my mantra. So every single day of your life. Thanks so much. Take care.